guys, Lynn here, and welcome back to another Skyrim console mod video, showcasing 10 more brand new mods for Xbox One. PS4 video will be out later today, which of course all mods in the PS4 video are available for Xbox One as well, so you get some bonus mods every day. First off, I want to thank everyone for their feedback from yesterday's video. I'm constantly testing out small changes in order to try and get as many mods in the video as possible, but keeping as much useful info as possible in the video. Well, let's not wait around, we have 10 mods to look at, so we are just going to jump straight into number 1. Our first mod is the Scarlet Vengeance mod. Scarlet Vengeance is a sword, a really cool looking sword, that will go perfect with any Daedra armour. Its shape and blood red colour make it look like a Daedric artifact of some kind, so it goes perfect together. To get it, it's located under the Daedric section of the forge for the low cost of 2 ebony ingots and 1 human heart. For damage, it does more than both the Daedric sword and the Great Sword, so it's extremely powerful and probably more powerful than any weapon in the vanilla game. All you have to do is add some enchantments, equip your Daedric armor, and you're good to go. Craftable Unenchanted Nightingale Armor, a mod I really like since it's one of the cooler armors in the game, and I really like this mod for two reasons other than that. I can now get the armor from the start of the game, and I don't have to do the Thieves Guild early, and also it's unenchanted, so I can equip it with more useful enchantments since I'm not playing a sneaking character. If you want it, simply craft it at any blacksmith, and there are both heavy and light versions available for you. In terms of stats, they are just completely identical to the Nightingale armor. Next, a perfect mod to go with the Nightingale armor is the Ninja Keen mod. Adds in ninja weapons, armors, and a couple of fancy spells. Through this mod you can become more ninja-like, and this mod is intended for your stealth-like characters. Located in the Winking Skeever in Solitude is a shadowy stranger, a merchant who sells all the stuff that you want. All the weapons he sells are slightly stronger than the Daedric weapons, and require Daedric smithing for double temper. They come in a variety of colours, orange, green, white, purple, red and blue, so they can match any different style. Light and heavy armours are also available, and they are also stronger than dragon armours, and they are based off of the Daedric armour in the way that they look. And you require dragon smithing in order to double temper these to get the best out of them. For spells you get a mixture of stuff including walking on water, firing bees at your enemy, and summoning three ninjas to help you fight. So if you're looking to become a stealthy assassin, then the Ninja Keen mod is perfect for you, and like I said, it goes great with the Nightingale armor. Next, a small but cool mod, and that is Natural Eyes. All the eyes for each race have been replaced with more natural looking and realistic eyes. Nothing much more needs to be said about this one, as it's just a simple mod. If you're looking for better looking eyes, you can download this one right now. To go with this mod is another player overhaul called Adorable Females. This mod reduced the lips to look fuller and more colourful, Along with this, it also makes them look less dry. It adds 1k teeth and mouth textures, and 8 new eyebrow options. So if you're looking for more character customization options, then this mod, along with the natural eyes, and also the KS hairdo to light mod, which we featured in yesterday's video, all work really well together to make your character look much better. Our next mod is called Riverwood Reborn. A complete overhaul to Riverwood, to make the place better and feel like it has more charm, and I admit I really like the way Riverwood looks now. Before it was kind of linear, but now it feels much more like a small village. In terms of changes, the complete town has had a remastered layout, including new bridges, walkways and more. A smeltler has been added. Decorations and lampposts have all been added. Flora and rocking outcrops have been added. Hand placed ferns, trees and bushes. A number of vines and floor decal. Flowing water effects through the village and much more smaller changes have also been included. So overall a really cool mod if you're looking for an overhaul to Riverwood. A place where you spend a lot of time, especially if you get mods, because a load of mods are added to Riverwood since it's one of the first places you go, then you can download this one right now. If you're playing as a vampire, then your character wouldn't be complete without your very own vampire home tailored to your own vampire needs. So the layer of Crimson Scar adds your very own vampire home based off the Deep Scorn Hollow from Oblivion. Located behind the Whiterun stables inside of the sewers is your new home. You have to steal it from another vampire, but once you kill him, it's all yours. For features, you get an alchemy garden, which is on the outside, mainly for poison ingredients. Full crafting area with ore, ingot, leather and pelt storage. A cooking area for non-vampire folk who want to live here. Or you just have guests around. Lore friendly shrine, and it's pretty scary looking I have to admit. A cattle pen for those who want to keep cows for blood, or I guess you can keep humans there if you wanted to. A secret passage that goes directly to Whiterun for late night hunting and thievery. A large armory with enough mannequins, weapon racks and display cases to show pretty much all the vanilla weapons in Skyrim. A bedroom with more mannequins, racks, plaques and displays to show off all your favourite personal collection and weapons and armours. And there's also a display area for your dragon priest masks. Overall a super cool home, 
Still some features I would like to see here, but overall an amazing looking layer, especially the armory which is incredibly big and really cool looking. And at the end there's even a throne there. Next up we have Summoning Exploding Chickens. A mod that adds a bit of fun into the game and does exactly what it says. Adds 4 spells that conjure chickens that explode. It also provides some potions so you don't die, so you can test out all the chicken explosions for yourself. If you're looking for them, then just drop off at the drawbridge from Whiterun and it's located in this small tunnel. Now you might not think that this is an exciting mod, but just wait until you summon 200 chickens and then shoot one. Our second last mod is the Ashara, Eren and Sienna followers. This mod adds the Eren, Sienna, Rowan, Anya, Amory and Sigrid as followers into the game. All have been added to the Drunken Huntsman in Whiterun and can now be recruited. The Drunken Huntsman is the armory in Whiterun. Just like other followers, they can't die, you can marry them, and they have standard weapons and abilities, so they're basically just regular followers, but they look cool. Each of their moralities is set to any crime, so they will commit any crimes you want them to. Our final mod, and one which I have personally been really looking forward to, and that is Vivid Weathers. Vivid Weathers is the latest and biggest weather and visual overhaul for Skyrim. It overhauls all the Skyrim weathers and image spaces, as well as adds a whole bunch of new weathers, in fact over 500, and effects including snowstorms, blizzards, thick fog, distant fog, distant rain and particle snowflakes. You also get a spell book where you can alter saturation, brightness and bloom. Since it's our final mod, we will go over this one in a bit more detail. We have over 500 weathers, like we said, clear, cloudy blizzards, snowstorms, rainy, storm rain, foggy and thunder weathers. Adjustable interiors and night brightness via the in-game menu. Adjustable saturations. Supports Dragonborn, Dongard, Falxar, Worm's Tooth, Somerset Isle and Lanterns of Skyrim. Over 150 new cloud textures. 16 new deep thunder sounds for bad weathers. Immersive Sunrise and Sunset by Selective Cloud Colouring Extended Ground Fog that adds volumetric fogs on foggy weathers Real Skyrim Snowflakes that add in-game particle snow for a complete new snowy and blizzard feel New Stars and Galaxy Textures Distant Mountain Fog and Rain Effects Moving Fog Particles during Heavy Fogs Immersive Sunsets and Sunrise Textures Replaces and fixed a lot of smoke and fog textures that were broken Included a highly optimised EMB for all weathers with new dusk and dawn features and enhanced EMB friendly ambient tint fog and cloud colours. The Vivid Weathers is also not finished, there are future updates including moon phases and auroras, patch for the winter overhaul and seasonal weather depending on the actual month in the game. So overall a huge mod and a complete overhaul of the weather in the game. Definitely you won't have to download any other weather mod if you install this one as it covers pretty much everything. Well guys, there we have it, 10 brand new mods that you can download right now for Xbox One in Skyrim Special Edition. As always guys, if you enjoyed the video and found it useful, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you all later today for 5 more PlayStation 4 console mods that you can install right now. See you all then.